Hey Scorpio, it's going to be a love reading for you guys, okay? General love reading. Uh, we have Aries energy, Leo energy, Sagittarius energy out here. Uh, Taurus, okay, Aquarius, Scorpio energy with the world card also. This masculine wants a love connection. I believe they want to reunite with you. They want to reconcile with you. This person currently feels lonely. They're upset. They want to move forward in a connection. They definitely want to communicate with you. The Ace of Wands is out here with the Ace of Cups, but there is a burden around this new start. This person wants a brand new passionate start with you. They miss you physically. They miss you emotionally. They love you. Definitely they love you. They're trying to manifest you. And I feel like this person, number one, is trying to maintain control over their emotions. This emperor came out underneath this eight of, um this ace of cups okay this emperor is doing everything they can to control their emotions for how they feel about you they're doing everything they can to think about what it is they can do to talk with you to speak with you i feel like they want to let some things off of their chest they definitely want to make a move and take some action towards you because they came out here as the uh, king of wands which is typically somebody here who is you know especially with the emperor they definitely stand on business but i feel like this person is not standing on business with you they're not communicating with you at all they feel they may even be i don't think you're talking to this person right now there's little is probably no communication at all i feel like here with this eight of wands and this five of pentacles this person definitely feels left out in the cold they miss you they feel like you abandoned them and i you know feel like you guys didn't necessarily abandon this person abandon this person you made the choice to focus on yourself you made the choice to walk away from this connection sow yourself some self love here you aren't playing any more games with this person because all they really did was run away from you but the crazy thing is i feel like this person is playing victim because it's like they ran away from you but they feel like you ran away from them make it make sense i can't make it make sense i'm just sharing the energy out here with you again this person wants to reconcile they want to have a fresh new beginning with you but there's some burden around that with this ten of wands there just is there's a lot of burden around this this person's been carrying this stress on their shoulder and they're tired of it they really are tired of it you know for some of y'all, this person hates being home. When they go home, something about being at home, they just don't want to do it. I don't know what this is about uh, or what's going on in this person's home life, but they don't like being home. They don't like going home or they don't like whoever the hell is at home waiting for them. I, I'm just going to keep it real here, okay? Here's the thing, though. This person sits around and thinks about reconciling with you could be a twin. They don't have to be. The four of wands is here. But they know some, some, some changes have to be made here. This king of wands is really upset with you too. I feel like not even, not in a, like an angry way. I wouldn't say they're angry with you, but they're really upset. Like they feel like this is over. They feel like this is over and they feel like it's too late to try to come back and reconcile with you. I'm just going to keep it real. They do. They feel like it's too late. They feel like you've already moved on. They feel like you don't have anything to say to them. They feel like this is over. There's nothing they, they could say or nothing that they could do because you are in this queen of pentacles, queen bee energy here, just minding your own business. This person is actually like getting readings on you. They got a reading on you, you guys. And the reader told them it was too late. Time has run out. Some of y'all may have already moved on. You may have already started your own family. For those of you who haven't moved on and started your own family, you have somebody else coming in that you're about to start a family with. Okay, I'm telling you, when this happens, this person is going to, they may have, for some of y'all, got shocking news or heard through the grapevine that you might be pregnant or you started a family with somebody else or like you're dating somebody else. Even if you're not, they think that. But I just really believe that they got some shocking news from a tarot reader that says, oh no, the, 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 math, the, the divine feminine here, they are, they're, they're done. They're focusing on them. They're starting their own family. They're showing themselves all this self-love. They're worried about them. They're doing the work. 
they have faced their shadow side and it's too late. For some of y'all, this person could live with someone, maybe someone they have a child with or someone they could be living with or somebody they have a, a family with or that they, they have history with here. And they're under pressure and that could be what the burden is around being able to reconcile with you. They can't reconcile with you because they're tied up in another situation that they may have a family, somebody they may have a family with, you know, and this person is like having a lot of anxiety and they're under a lot of pressure pressure to figure out for some of y'all how to end a situation that they have with somebody they have kids with or that they live with or have history with and they're really just like somebody could be suffering from migraines here too because even in, in this card this person's holding their head they're really emotional they're under a lot of pressure when it comes to them like being a great mother or being a great father and i'm not saying like this person can be still be a great mother or a great father and, and be with the person that they want to be with, okay? But I just feel like there's unresolved business or this person just doesn't feel confident enough in themselves to leave a situation and come be with you. Because why else would they be under all these burdens and under all this feeling so overwhelmed if they didn't have a bunch of other stuff going on in the background? Because they definitely got a bunch of other things happening in their own life. You, you're not in any form of burden here. You've deaded this. You know, the wheel energy, I'm sorry, the world energy, not the wheel, but the wheel energy here is like, this is over and they know that this is over. They feel like it's definitely too late and there's no coming back from it. So they make, they may, you know, communicate with you. Here's the deal. This person wants to come towards you in this six of swords energy, right? She's holding a cup. That's that Ace of Cups. This person wants to come towards you and bring you this Ace of Cups and reconcile. And they're hoping that you're going to take them back, but but they're in their head about it. Eight of Swords. They're in their head about it or they feel like their hands are tied or that they're stuck in a situation that is, is so much of a burden to them. Nine, nine of Wands. Somebody here could be fighting, like I said, that might be why they don't want to go home too. There could be fighting over a child or over a family or a situation. Strong Leo energy is here with the Sun card. I feel like this person has a lot of karma too that's keeping them from coming towards you. This person could be going through a lot of financial difficulties too. That could be another blockage here. Show me this Five of Pentacles, please. Why is this Five of Pentacles here? Yeah, three of swords. They're heartbroken. Libra energy. They are heartbroken over the separation between the two of you. They're grieving. They really are grieving. You know, they really are. Let's see. <clears throat> so what are these burdens here? And these blockages? Why can't this masculine make a move, right? Look at this. The conclusion of a connection is approaching. Dying love. They're not able to let you go. They feel like you've already let them go and you've already moved on. They feel like you don't love them anymore. Money is definitely an issue here with somebody. Somebody here is too focused on money. The emperor and the king of wands is here, which tells me, number one, the emperor is either somebody who's a boss or somebody who might be in management. They might be a leader. This definitely could be a father figure. Even this is somebody who, who may own their own business or like they're doing good financially. And I feel like this person gets a lot of attention. They're definitely a leader. They're in the energy of being a leader because this king of wands is, is someone here who, you know, is charismatic. They have a lot of passion. They have a lot of followers. A lot of people follow them and, you know, they're wise and maybe even seen in the public eye. But this person has an unhealthy obsession with financial, like finances and money. Like they care more about money than, okay, so then this person might be in a situation because of money. For those of you, yeah, they're definitely missing you and longing to be with you again. See the synergies out here. They're thinking about you, man. They really are in their feelings and they want to talk. I see the Ace of Swords here. Yeah, see, this person is, res they're resenting, okay, her and bitter over unfair treatment. I think I did say somebody is acting like the victim here or like they feel like, I'm pretty sure I said that here. 
Okay, but they're hurt because they feel like you're treating them being unfair with them. That how how? Hmm. That's how they feel. They're real hurt. They feel like you're treating them. They just look at this victorious. They want to overcome whatever issue that you're having with them. They want to overcome this. Hmm. Leveling up. This person wants to overcome these issues with you and take things to the next level. They might be getting ready to end a connection because we have marriage or long-term commitment here in reverse on the bottom of this deck. For some of y'all, this person's getting ready to end something either they, with somebody they have children with that they've been with for a very long time. But I feel like this person is sending mixed signals to you. I don't know. They definitely are craving, craving you physically. For some of y'all, this person, when they come in, they're like hot and cold. Like I feel like this person used to come in when you were dealing with them. They were in like this Knight of Wands energy. Now they okay. Now they're in this King of Wands energy and this Emperor energy. But it's like one minute they want to, <clears throat> one minute they want to do this, and the next minute they don't know what they want to do. One minute they want your attention, and the next minute they're pulling away from you. It's like you just got tired of the mixed signals, and you just you you left. You bounced. But they see a long-term commitment with you, which is what's so funny. They they want a long-term commitment with you, not whether or not they're going to, yeah, flip-flop, changing it up on you. For some of y'all, they did tell you that, yeah, in the future, we're going to have a family. We're going to have this. We're going to have that. And they were hot and cold in and out in this Two of Pentacles energy. One minute, they wanted one thing, sending you mixed signals. That's why you moved on. Yeah. Thank you, spirit. They ran away from you, but they feel like now you're running away from them. And that just doesn't make sense. This person is definitely thinking about you physically and sexually. I'm just going to tell you that now. Since you moved away from this person, they uh, that's had a really big impact on their life. You had a positive impression on this person. So even if you don't know that or not, you've made a very big positive impact on this person's self-esteem, I feel like. You know, you made them believe in themselves or something about you inspire them here. But the thing is, for some of y'all, they wanted you to play third party to a situation. And you were not going to play third party to any situation here with this accessory, supplementing a relationship. It's like they wanted you to be a third. And you're like, no, that's not the energy I'm in. I am the queen bee. I am the divine feminine. I am secure and confident and focused. I am not going to be a, a an accessory to any situation. So that's another reason. Yeah, and the two of y'all had different goals. See what I'm saying? You, it just wasn't in a, you know, it could be right person, wrong time here, but you're not. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely some third party energy here trying to keep you, this person apart from you or just the family members or friends. There's some five of wands energy in this person's life. This person has some relationships with some people who are destructive to their own growth. I'll say growth. You know, too many people have a say in this person's life or they're sharing too much of their business. I feel like, you know, I feel like y'all just really want to leave the past behind. But this person wants you to forgive them and leave the past behind and give them another chance. They're definitely watching you. They're stalking you and watching you, you guys, okay? Maybe on a computer or a laptop or something here. Somebody may receive some form of email or communication through email. That's not for everybody here. Yeah, I told you. Thank you, Spirit. Other people plotting on you. Conspiracy. Other people plotting to keep you two apart. That's, yeah. That's pretty obvious here. I don't even think you guys care. You, you're not paying attention to this here. Yeah, this person, when, okay, you're, you're being, you, how can I put this? Like when this person's out at a store or they're somewhere out in public or out and about, they, if somebody, somebody the other day walked by them and they smelled something or somebody's perfume or, or some aroma or something made them think of you or they, rem, it reminded them of you. They just felt your presence pretty recently here and they know that nobody else exists like you. 
when the two of you were together, it was like nobody else was around. You know, this is unfortunate, but you know, you're not going to play third party to any situation. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You know, if this person wanted to be with you, then they would just do so. That's just it. Show me more here. Hmm. This person might be doing love spells on you to try to get you back. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. This person's not getting any sleep either. Four swords in reverse. They're not getting any sleep. They could be, there might be, they might be haunted in their dreams. Show me more here. Yeah, they're definitely thinking about you. The King of Pentacles is out here now. So they could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but they don't have to be. This is definitely somebody here who has a little bit of stability and, and abundance. You know what I'm saying? They, um, it could be an Aquarius here too. We have a star card here. They're wishing, praying, hoping, and missing you with the Six of Cups. Two of Wands trying to figure out how they can, what they can do to get back towards you. They're planning something. This person can't sleep. They're up late at night. Because when do you ever see the Six of Cups? Usually the Six of Cups is in the daytime. This person's all alone, sitting out on the balcony. You see the stars in the background and the lights on in the background. This person's up late at night thinking about what they could do, what they could say, what they, how they're going to plan their next move, basically. Mm -hmm. Show me this King of Pentacles. Yeah, they're working on something. Eight of Pentacles. They're working on something. What are they working on here? Four Cups. They're working on leaving the situation behind and going somewhere else. Because in this four cups, there's no person here. There's just empty cups on a beach. And then in this ship, this boat is just leaving the shore. So this is telling me somebody's leaving a situation behind, right? There, where there may be no more love, you know, you know, not an emotional connection anymore, right? Because, you know, maybe all this was going on with this other person if they had a third party, which it looks like they did. For some of y'all, could be family, friends, or for somebody, someone they have a long history with that they had children with, okay? But they're, they're, they, they left this behind. There's nothing there for them anymore. There's no emotional connection, and they've got this boat, and they're ready to leave. That's what they're working on. Okay, and where is this person going next, man? Where is this King of Pentacles going next? Ace of Swords to communicate. Somebody had an aha moment, maybe. They're coming to communicate something. They're realizing something. What's this communication in this Ace of Swords from this King of Pentacles? No longer confused. No longer in, a, in an illusion here. Seven of Cups crossing. Yes, they're seeing something clearly now here. The sun card is out here. Seven of Cups crossing with the sun card. Someone, something's being revealed to them. They're having an aha moment. They're seeing people around them for who they are. These people that may have tried to block this connection, who may have tried to make something. They're, yeah, they're seeing something. They know who the ops are. They know who these people are now. It's like they were, they're waiting they're trying to take a more gentle approach. They're trying to think about their next option. They're, they're strategizing. But see, the way that this sun card fell out, on this side, it's at night. It's late at night. There are like these two guards watching this, this little boy here. But on the other side, they're out, They're not no longer behind those walls. And the, and the sun is shining. So they're not letting on to whoever these people are in their life that they see them for who they really are or they know what they did or something or they're not letting on and sharing sharing 
they're playing with somebody else or like that they've gotten clarity on a situation. They're not telling that. Give me one more here on this Ace of Swords. King of Swords. You could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. There's so much masculine energy out here, and this is all this Emperor. They're definitely strategizing, I'm telling you. This King of Swords is somebody here to, to bring the truth, clarity, okay? Wisdom, thinking head over heart here. This is a real huge sword. This is a planner. This person is planning and strategizing. Clarify this King of Swords. This is Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is strategizing and they're angry at these people. They're angry at whoever these people are in this family or the people that are around them. There may have been people taking from this person. Because this person looks mad. But see, the thing is, this, this King of Swords is looking at everything in a bird's eye view. Like, they're seeing, I feel like they're seeing a way out of this situation. Yeah. Because you see in this card, they're looking, this masculine is looking down on this little town. They're looking at all the players in the situation. This King of Swords is being real methodical about this shit. They are really thinking, thinking this through. Show me this King of Swords. Yeah. Oh, they're mad. Yeah, I'm telling you, they're mad with these people in this home or these family or these friends. They're, they're mad. Knight of Swords are seeing things clearly. This person's ready to go to battle if they have to. Show me this Knight of Swords. Show me this Nine of Swords. Nine of, Nine of Swords crossing. Mm -hmm. I told you somebody's being haunted by all their thoughts. They definitely can't sleep. They're up late at night. The more they think about it, I feel like the angrier this person gets. I think this person's mad at themselves for not moving on quicker. That's for some of y'all, not for everybody here. This person wants a new beginning and they're trying to figure out how to do that. Aries energy, Aquarius energy with the fool at the top of the deck. Mm -hmm. Somebody here has a flat stomach. I mean, somebody's in shape. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who's like super in shape. May have long hair. Somebody, this masculine is getting ready to communicate something real shocking to these people. They're not going to be ready for it. Mm -hmm. For some of y'all, they're getting ready to communicate something with this person that they have a family with. Mm -hmm. They're getting ready to walk away from this. Eight of Cups. And turn their back on the situation. And I feel like that's going to shock them. Because I just. The, the tower card is here. The tower card is here. Okay. We have the. Um, the uh, full card. Okay. The, the page of wands. The tower. Getting ready to communicate that to this queen of pentacles. Who's typically the person that has the children, right? Or somebody they're committed to or have long history with page of pentacles. They're getting ready to tell them they're going to offer this page of pentacles somewhere else. You know, uh, ten of pentacles. They're getting ready to walk away from this ten of pentacles situation. And this ten of pentacles here, this, this guy is by himself. But if you turn this around, there's two people here. But this is the state of mind this masculine is in right now. I'm going to go. Eight of Cups. I'm walking away. I'm leaving with just my stuff. I don't care if I can't take anything with me. Uh, what does this masculine want to say to Divine Feminine? The person that they're missing. 
I know you're tired of hearing my excuses. All talk, no action. Yeah, and you are. That's why you walked away. That's why you don't have anything to say. That's why you're focusing on yourself here. Yeah. You're like candy, chocolate cake. The decadence of your soul makes me melt. That's them thinking about you physically. In love. I'm surrendering to the cadence of your soul and allowing us to dance in love. So like I said, they are in love with you, but they are definitely thinking about you a lot. And as soon as I say that, thoughts come out. They're definitely thinking about you a lot. Thank you, Spirit. It says, there isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about you. You are the one for me. Mm -hmm. Let's get one more. Okay, we got two. There goes that agreement. Three of Pentacles energy here. You both made an agreement to focus on yourselves and then come back together as one. I don't think that was an agreement. I think you just did whatever you had to do and this person was forced to do that. But maybe you did make an agreement. Spiritual detox, re releasing negative thoughts and people, right? We just talked about that. Major spiritual cleanse and rebirth and awakening. We just talked about somebody realizing something, the people in their life, letting go of some you know, crazy stuff here, third eye. So they're having this aha moment. They're seeing shit for what it is. They're seeing these people for who they are. My third eye can never forget what my heart hasn't. The true love I feel for you. Heartbreak. The wrong choice was made and now they sit in the pain of losing you. Heartbreak. Now they're about to chase you. Regretting their past actions and realizing letting you go was a huge mistake. You're always on my mind, even when I try to forget you. Let's see what zodiac signs you could be dealing with, even though everybody's out here. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you need a personal reading. That information is below in the description box. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Gemini. Leo, Aquarius, or a Pisces, all right? But you could be dealing with anyone, but those are the signs that are out here other than the ones that we already saw. So I love you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure all your notification bell is turned on to all.